R or mean is equal to summation of um, summation of So guys, we say okay. So for today's video, we're gonna learn about the concept of the weighted mean. So uh, we already know that the, the mean is the most common measure of central tendency. So in computing the mean for ungrouped data, uh, one of the method, uh, one of the methods is this one, weighted mean method. Okay. So weighted mean. It's a type of mean that is calculated by multiplying the weight or probability associated with a particular event or outcome with its associated quantitative outcome and then summing all the products together. So it is very useful when calculating a theoretically expected outcome where uh, each outcome has a different probability of occurring which is the key feature that distinguish or distinguishes the weighted mean from the arithmetic mean. So the, the formula of the uh, 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 the weighted mean is this one. So mean is equal to the sum of the products of the values and weights all over sum of the weights. Okay? Or in symbol, this one, x bar or the mean. Okay? Alam natin yan ang, yan ang uh, symbol ng mean. x bar is equal to summation of x or summation of x, w, or the product of the x and w, um, all over summation of w. So, on x, whereas the, this one is the summation, uh, which is a symbol uh, sigma, and x, the x here is the values, and w here is the corresponding weights of the values okay so again x is the all values and w is the corresponding weights of the values so then that on formula na weighted mean okay, so let's have an example so given we have three students get score of 12 in the test and two students get score of 15 in the test then another five students get score of 10 in the test then another two students get score of 14 in the test. So find the mean score. So as we observe sa ating example, uh, for uh, this example, ang uh, kukunin natin yung mga values na yung W pati X. Whereas the, uh, the W is the weights of corresponding values and the X is the row score or the score or the values. So as we observe, ang mga values na nakikita natin dito ay ang 12, 15, 10, and 14. Therefore, ang weights niya ay itong mga students. So, pukunin natin sa solution niya. Okay. Okay, so W. Um, values ng mga W natin, corresponding values. We have 3 student, students, uh, 2 students, 5 students, and 2 students. Okay, then the, the X, okay, or the values, or the row score, we have 12. Got it. Corresponding ng 3 students, nakuha niya 12. Si 2 students, nakuha niya 15 in the test. And then si 5 students, nakuha niya 10. And then yung dalawa, another 2 students, nakuha siya ng 14. Okay? So, next one. I find the product of the 2. Corresponding values and the values. Kuha natin yung product na yun. Sabi yung multiply natin. Okay? So, 3 times 12. Uh, 36 okay then 2 times 15 30 5 times 10 50 2 times 14 28 okay then um, as we observe ang um, ano natin i-add natin ang um, values ng product of the W and X so i-add natin to 36 plus 30 plus 50 plus 28 is equal to Okay, so 144. So, ito yung summation ng uh, WX. Okay, so simply substitute the values in there or in the uh, respective uh, formula. By the way, we are going to add this one. 
3 plus yung corresponding weights, we have 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 is equal to 12. Okay? So, this is 12. Uh, okay, subject natin sa formula, x bar or mean is equal to summation of uh, summation of um, x the product of x and w all over the summation of w summation of w so nakuha natin ang mga values nito um, summation of x the product of x w we have 144 okay all over summation of w nandoon okay 12 okay then um 144 divided by 12 is equal to yes 12 therefore the weighted mean of the score is 12 okay so ganun lang siya madali lang siya so that's it